Look what came in the mail today. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alrighty, so today I will be doing a makeup haul. It's not that much stuff, but it costed a lot of money. Also, let me show y'all these lashes. These lashes are from AliExpress. AliExpress. Can y'all believe it? Like, I'm looking myself in the mirror. Let me turn on this mirror for some extra lighting. But I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm like, uh. They look really good. So, this is how they look in that pack. Oh, let me take. Well, y'all can see right here. This is how they look. And they only cost, like, these ones cost, I don't even know, like, $3 probably for a whole pack of five. So, I really like that. So, that's a part of the haul. Let me zoom in. This is how my eyes look with them on. They very pop out. Um, I don't have on any makeup. I have on a little bit of concealer. And, of course, the eyeliner and eyelashes and some lip gloss. So, so... I've been bought these. I bought these with my first paycheck, which was what month was that? July 16th, 15th, one of them. One of those days I bought these because I was gonna use these to start my lash business, which is when I'm starting up, which I will have an Instagram account by the time this video go up and have everything ready. So if y'all wanna support your girl, support your black owned business, go ahead, check out the Instagram account. And I also bought these ones. I bought these ones because they look very different. But I already bought some wholesale lashes. Don't, I'm not. I'll do a whole nother video about that. But I already bought some wholesale lashes. And these ones I'm gonna just keep for myself because I do not want to waste my thirty dollar lashes. I mean, I know I'm not wasting it because I like the way my makeup looks. But those are my going out lashes, you know? My Miamis, they might going out lashes. They're not even over here, they're over there, but they might going out lashes. I don't if you see me out, those are the lashes I have. If I have any lashes. But these are the ones I'll wear during a makeup tutorial. I wouldn't be upset if I make a mistake and pulled off a whole bundle of eyelash. You know what I'm saying? I had a little bit of problems. So you know how you gotta break the lashes into your eye, like get on here. But it's not the last fall, it's my fault. But, of course, it turned out really well. They look really good. They don't look like some cheap ones I got from Amazon one time. Also, y'all, don't ask why I only got one side of my edges done. It was raining. And this side is obviously the supreme. I tried these on today because I wanted to see how I look with lashes on and no, no not a full face. Because I only wear lashes when I have a full face on. And honestly, I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I bought... How many did I buy? I don't know. I bought a lot of lashes. So, in total, I bought 45 lashes. And I bought one pack of 10. And the rest are packs of 5. Oops. And the rest are packs of 5. So, I bought a lot of lashes for me. So, just to make this video a little longer... Um, I'm gonna include my ColourPop haul, which wasn't that much, but I got the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. This palette is so cute. I already did a video only on my ColourPop haul. I'll link it up above. It barely got any views. So, just as a total haul, this is the palette. It looks so good. If you want to buy any ColourPop palette, I definitely recommend this one. It's the best one, and it got two glitter shades, so y'all need to try this out. I recommend that one way more than the um, ColourPop Yes Please palette. This one is super dirty, but yeah, it gets dirty too fast. Also, one thing about ColourPop eyeshadows is if you drop it, they will pop out. Not not the product. The pan will pop out its place, and now you're going to be like, oh, I don't know where to go. I also got the, found the concealer again. My favorite concealer ever. It's off for the ColourPop. Um, so I went to the mall recently. I went to Forever 21. And I bought these refreshing wipes. Look, right above my makeup. So basically, they're okay. I mean, they are dry. Not gonna lie. 
I feel like they've been sitting around for a while because they're a little dry. So I just spray it with some water. Um, after that, I I didn't even buy no clothes from Forever Twenty One. All I got was some necklaces. They keep necklaces from Forever Twenty One. It's like a chain set. So it's super cute. Then after Forever Twenty One, I went to Ulta and. I spent seventy-two dollars on four things, or five things. First, I got a new cucumber spray. You already know I love this. I already got this big one right here. This was full, obviously, and I sit down just with water for my hair. But yeah, I love this. I bought two of these, so that's twelve dollars each. So that's twenty-four dollars, just right there. I love this spray so much. Whenever I get out the shower, spray my face. So moisturizing, and definitely, if you do makeup, it definitely melts your makeup. If you like dewy skin, this is it. It will do your skin right. And then, I got the Morphe sponge. Wow. Everybody in their grandma would love this sponge. So, I want to give it a try. I didn't try it yet. I just opened up the package and feel it. It feel a little hard. You heard me? It feel a little hard. I'm like, and this costs eight dollars, so that's not too. It's not higher. It's not too high, but it's higher than the real technique sponge, which I love, as you can see. I think cost me the most, and then I didn't really have to get was the Lime Crime glosses. So this is the package it come in. The packaging is so cute. Um, it's called the wet cherry gloss. If you don't like the smell of cherries, if it might be a cough medicine, you're not gonna like it because all of them smell like cherries. So, so the first one I got was the clear one. You know, before I even touched this, it was super clear. It still is super clear. It just got some air bubbles in there, but. So the shade name of the clear one is Extra Poppin'. Um, I wouldn't say it's worth. $18. A clear gloss that's cherry scented is not worth $18. But guess who bought it? Me. This is the bougie gloss. So I don't I don't use this whenever I want to. I use this when I'm trying to stop on people. You know? You gotta pull it out with like what you say? So then I got the red gloss. This one is super cute. I will swatch the clear one, but it's clear, so this one is super cute. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. This one I feel like it's worth the $18 because it's so pigmented. But I guess if you can find a dupe, then that's good. But very gloss. And this one is called Maraschino. Maraschino. Cherry. So cute. I think it's going to be so cute. Like, God. Look what came in the mail today. Ulta is way better than Sephora. Sephora, no. Who even still shop at Sephora? I say as I open up a Sephora box. But still, only buy things at Sephora that's not at Ulta. Like Fenty Beauty, like Milk Makeup, like Tatcha. If it's not at Ulta, then yeah, I'll go to Sephora. But why don't I go to Ulta? Got drugstore, everything. Ulta is the Ulta is better than Sephora, and that's on period. Most of the people in Sephora don't even buy anything. Okay. So I got the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Because, I don't know, I just saw everybody talk about it. I'm like, I need to try it because I need something hydrating. I don't have a moisturizer again yet. And I, got, I didn't realize I bought two primers till I got the shipping thing. I bought the Taja Silk Canvas Primer. Then they gave me this Together Beauty Whatever Whenever hair thing. So let's let's go through the samples first. So that's fun. Ooh, I for, why did they give me two perfumes? Okay. So I got the Mon Guerlain. <laughs> Can't read this. Okay, the freshness of Carla Lavender. An exceptional variety grown in Provence. Okay, hold up. This is barely anything in this little tube, but this smells good. I have the 
when, whatever, whenever, leave-in, hydrating, priming, and style freshening. Super charged natural. The Tatcha Primer first. I got the mini. So that was like $22, I think. I don't know. I don't want to. I'll pull it up right here. Oh, oh my God. Look how small this is. When they say a mini, they really meant mini. This is so small, but it's so sleek and nice. Like, wow. They did that. Hold up. They did. This was made in Japan. I didn't know that. Okay. Let me open it up. This is really first impressions. Did somebody touch my stuff? Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? In the corner right there. I swear. Oop. I'm gonna rub it on my skin. Let me just take my finger right here. Wow, it really melt. It smell good. It smell good. Of this haul is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So this is Hemp Derived Cannabis Extract, Blue Agave Extract for all day hydration and hold. All free, silicone free, gluten free, cruelty free, paraben free, vegan. So, oh I like the packaging. This is my first product for Milk Make. Come on. Okay. Wow, this looks, oh it came with this paper right next to it. Hold up. Hold up, what is this? It's warm. Um, it just explained everything you said. Okay. This is how it looks. Um, milk. Wow. So it's plastic, not glass. So that's a good thing. I don't want to break it. This costs thirty dollars. And the the small primer costs twenty one. I want to put a little bit. I'm put it right here. So this is just a little bit. Oh, can y'all see? Y'all see that little dot right there? It's literally just a little bit. Y'all can't even see. Yeah, I don't like the smell. Well, this is barely a smell, but I wish it was a smell like. Okay. Okay, let me. As I'm rubbing it in, it would kind of remind me of a thinner version of the Smashbox, the Smashbox primer, the clear one. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. But I feel like it is hydrating because my skin. Is, you see that shine? That's from the primer. Yeah. I think it. this will be so good. Like, yeah. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more just like it. Also, if you want me to buy a product for, you, for me to test out and for y'all to see whether or not it worked with me, just comment down below. Also, check out my hair videos. If y'all have 4C hair, check out my hair videos. Um, I recently tried to wash and go, and let me tell y'all, it wasn't really a wash and go, but it was bomb, period. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! Yeah.